All right, welcome people. Welcome again to Milker Guna TV. Uh, not going for a long one tonight. I hope I make it short and spicy. But thank you very much for all who have tuned in already. Um, I'm hopeful, hoping that you guys smash the like button before you do anything. Before you even come in the comment section, you have to hit the like button, people. So thank you very much for being here. So as I said, before you come in the comment section, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. I want to give a special shout out to all those, to all my new subscribers that come to the channel and uh, have been really, really active. I really appreciate that the work that you guys have put in. I really appreciate the fact that you guys spend the time to listen to my content. You didn't have to, but yes, you did, which means that you would definitely like um, some of the content. Big up, Robert King. Um, you're fresh in the house. Thank you very much for coming over, bro. A lot of respect. So we have a, little, a few things we want to talk about. As you guys know, I love to talk about football. I love to talk about stats. I love to talk about things that are happening in the world of football. And already we have gotten out of the way something that was detrimental to football has now been cleared up, which was the the super the super cup, the super league, to be frank. So everyone was speaking about the super league. Um big things, big, big thing right across the global aspect of football. And there's a lot to take um from that. But we we can't stick around and linger in that era. We have to move on because in the world of football. It is not a static game. It continuously moving. So thank you very much, people, for coming in. And today we want to discuss um, Peter Lee Vassal and Leon Bailey. But let me go over to Leon Bailey first. Um, he, he, ha he didn't have a good game today, played against Bayern Munich. We all know the level that Bayern Munich is at. Everyone accepts and knows the level that Bayern Munich is at. So that in itself can show um, what, he, what, what he went through today and how difficult the game was um, for him. So I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to analyze his performance throughout this particular game. So people, smash the like button, as I said before. Um, uh, this is going to be a good one. Um, I won't be long. I'll try my best not to be long because I know it's pretty much late here in Jamaica. And if it's late in Jamaica, that means it could, it could possibly, possibly be um, morning somewhere else, um, wherever you guys are tuning in from. But a lot of respect for you guys. Well, even those guys who are going to watch and rewatch, please remember to hit the like button. If you're watching on the rewatch, please remember to hit the like button. Um, hit it, this is what's hidden. You hit the like button, you show that you like the content. You hit the like button, it shows me that you guys like the, like the content. And that is what we're going for. We're going for good content, bringing, bring, bring, bringing across good content for everyone who wants to watch the channel. Um, big up, Davian McCleary. I'm big up to you up to the minute weather. I'm big up as well. Everyone is tuning in. Thank you very much, guys, for coming in. A lot of respect. This show tonight won't be a closed show. It actually will be an open show. So I will drop the link as early as possible um, because I don't want it to be a closed show. I don't intend to say that long. So I'm going to make it an open show so we can have a few things to discuss. I know a lot of you guys have a lot of things we want to talk about and we'll see how definitely the, the night proceeds. Oh, but we're going to discuss um, Peter Lee Vassal and Liam Bailey tonight. And as you know, the argument tends to always drag on into something different. And I know a few people will come with something um, for me to look at as well. And I have no problem looking at those things. So people, please smash that like button. Hit the like button. I've dropped the link in the comment section. And we're going to run through some of the things that we want to cover. So as I said, the first person that I want to cover is actually Liam Bailey. So I'm moving over. To over to that right now. Um, we need to stop this thing with our players going to USL. <laughs> um, but remember, if it is the only opportunity at this moment, and what we have to look at, some of these players they want to play football right now. Um, they want to play football right now because they know what is at stake. The goal cup is right around the corner. So anything these guys will do to get in a football team so that they can get some match fitness and put, put their names forward to get an opportunity to play in the Gold Cup. Because a lot of these guys see what is happening and see what is building um, right now in the, in the, with the Gold Cup squad. So I think that is the important thing that they're trying to get um, right now. Um, massive blessings to you, Mr. Campbell. Um, a lot of respect. Thank you for, for coming on. I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much for coming on. So we're going over now to um to see to analyze a bit more on Leon Bailey's performance, and we're going to have a look at him. He had a very very tough game, a, a tough I mean a tough tough game today. 
they were literally dom um, dominated by um, Bayern Munich, which is expected, which was definitely expected, because we all know the level that Bayern Munich is at. Everyone knows the level that Bayern Munich is at. There's no argument about that. There's none whatsoever. So people, um, I want to say good night and good morning. If you're watching on the replay, good morning, good evening, and good day, whichever, whichever time you guys are watching it on. And uh, to you guys, a massive thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving to me. All those new subscribers, I really appreciate the guys. You guys take the time out to come in and be interactive as, as well. Have you guys always leave in the comments? And I'm always in arguments with someone in the comments. I'm, I can tell the people, if you should go right now <laughs> and look in the comment section, I am always fighting with someone in the comment section. But that is how it is. That is football. That is how it is. That is football. And that is always football debate. So we're going over people. Um, people, remember, guys, I dropped the link in the I dropped the link in the chat. So I will invite a few of you guys on to have a small discussion discussion. And we can also talk about um how we can see the how the European um super cup um tragedies, what they wanted to do, how they they they, they got exposed in these ways. So we have a lot of things to talk about, people. But as I said, I want to run through um Leon Bailey's performance first and see what really went down for him and uh, let's see how but we know what was going to happen the, the moment we see Bayern Munich on the pitch we know exactly what was going to happen um big up Robert Taylor um big up bro big up for coming in big up DJ Romain big up DJ <laughs> trouble um no USL players in our World Cup squad no room for any any of them except for night oh all night <laughs> oh okay up to the minute whether um sadly can't come on stream tonight no problem no problem bro i have no problem with that this is not a long one um maybe half an hour um we'll see how that one goes um so let me go over now to lee and billy and what happened with his performance big up young me big up thank you for coming in bro <laughs> thank you for coming in thank you everyone was took the time as i said if you guys took the time out and come on the channel and that, that shows me a lot. Just remember, people, just hit the like button. Hit the like button, people. Just hit the like button. I would really, really appreciate that. So, people, Leon Billy face Bayern Munich today. Um, rough game. Very, very difficult game for Leon Bailey. Um, as you guys can see, um, his sofa score is relatively good as well. Um, he was actually one of the most outstanding players on the pitch. But it was a tough day for them. Um, so he finished the game with a sofa score written off. 7.3. We're going to look into um, his performance per se, just individual performance, and see how well he impacted the game. Let's see how well he impacted the game. Um, hopefully, you guys can, can you're, seeing, you're seeing what is happening. So, you guys can look at over on the left hand side. Um, he was actually attacking, going to the left from right, going to the left, which means that he's attacking, but you can see the heat signature a um, little bit below the half line. That is telling you guys that he was doing a lot of defensive work. That is telling you guys he was doing a lot of defensive work. So don't, I'm not sure if we're going to see a lot of touches and all those um, type of things. So um, right now, let's look at it. He completed the total 90 minutes of the game. Um, he had no goal, no assists. He had just one shot, which was blocked. Um, dribble attempt, he attempted four dribbles and he completed three of those. Um, he had 41 touches, as I said. You can see that it's a more, more of a defensive style of play that they deployed today to get this one over the line. Um, accurate passes, 19 out of 22, completing a game with an 86% passing accuracy, which is significantly high when you're taking uh, in consideration the opponent that he's playing with, an, an opponent that will not give you time and space on the ball. He completed the game with an 86% passing completion which is very, very good. Um, key passes, three key passes in this game. He attempted four crosses. None was completed. Uh, no long ball. And it was dribble pass once. So he encountered him in a total of seven ground duels, completing five of those. And he won none of his aerial duels. I didn't expect Leon Bailey to win any of his aerial duels. <laughs> but um, he lost possession 12 times. Yes, he's that type of player who's trying to get things over the line, who's trying to do things. So we expect he would lost possession quite a few times. Um, he committed one foul and was fouled twice. Um, been fouled offside twice as well. 
So no clearances, um, no block shot, just one interception. No, he didn't block any shot and just one interception. So that was Leon Bill's performance from a tactic, a statistical aspect of the game by um, a tactics aspect of the game. So we're going to now have a look at um, Peter Lee Vassal. People, um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that um, he's now training um, with the USL team. It was rumored that he was training with the USL team. Um, a, a few pictures have been floating around with him as well. Um, I think people saw it as on Instagram. But the first the first clue that we got was definitely um, something on an Instagram post. I am going over there right now. We saw something on an Instagram post. That was the first sight of a um, possibility that we saw. That was the first sight of possibility that we saw and in, in, in Instagram post. Um, scroll down, he might create a big chance. So yeah, he, yes, he's, he created um, three big chances up to the minute. Three big chances he created in the game. So definitely, you guys, you can see that he, he made an impact. He definitely made an impact in this game, created three big chances. He did a lot of things. Um, thank you, everyone who's coming in now. Um, please, I uh, do, as I said before, at the earlier start of the show, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I really respect that you guys take the, the extra 5, 10, 15 minutes out of your day to come and listen to me talk and just yap around about football. But I really do appreciate you guys. Um, please hit the like button. Just hitting the like button will show that you guys appreciate um, the content that I'm bringing to you guys. The link is in the chat if you guys would want to come on. I did put the link in the chat, so that's the decision is yours if you want to come on. We have a few things we would like to talk about. If you guys would like to talk about the Super Cup, you guys can come on and also we can also discuss the Super Cup as well. Because I know a lot of people have a lot of things to say about it. And you have, I know a few people, I actually know a few people who wanted the Super, the super Cup to, 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 to go on. I know a few people who did. And if you should look into it. I, I would say these persons don't love the the genuinity and the originalness of football, of the football that we're having right now. The history, you have to keep the history, but we'll get into that definitely. Big up, Stephen. Then um, thank you again for participating. A uh, lot of respect, bro. Thank you for coming in. Yankme said he did provide some brilliant bar for his team and they missed it. Those chances hit the goalposts. Yes, he did. He did provide the three big chances, as I stated a minute ago, but they didn't <laughs> capitalize on, on that at, at all. So um, let's go over now to Peter Lee Vassal. He's the one that I want to talk about now. Um, you, we, we, did, we did a stream earlier. This, I think about two weeks ago, we did a stream and we were asking what happened to Peter Lee Vassal. Why is it that we're not hearing anything about Peter Lee Vassal? So on his Instagram, um, he put in three things about me. Clear mind, clean heart, and a humble soul. And also he's telling you guys that he's very, very humble and he don't speak much. So... <laughs> Don't expect him to be highlighting in his lifestyle. So, um, say them essences. So, it looks like we're going to get um, some Peter Lee Vassal um, football soon. Um, and they tag in the 11, which is a USL team. And they also tag Peter Lee Vassal in the tweet as well. Um, not much otherwise from that. So, we're going over now to in the 11. Let's find out who is it, wh what is this team about. And we want, we want to have a look. We want to see if Peter Lee Vassal is making the right move. We want to see if this move that he's going to make, if it's one that is beneficial to him. So we, this is what we want to see, if this one, if this is beneficial to him. So we're going to run through the page and see if we have anything on Peter Lee Vassal on, on, on their website. I doubt it because it has not announced as yet. I doubt it, but we can run through a few of them. Talking about the USL Championship schedule record and how they're going to operate their, um, uh, um, engage in the, the COVID situation. So we have a few things. So definitely they have not updated it as yet, as you guys can see. So possible by, by, by the few days coming, that means they will update it by then. So let's go over now to Sofa Scores and find out in the 11 who, how well they are progressing in the USL. And if, let's see if Peter Livas is making the right move. Let's see the system that they play, the style of um, the formation that they play, how well they are playing so far. And let's see. So, and even check the last game, their next game, to see if we can actually witness Peter Lee Vassal in action. And then I can also do a review and cover him as well. So let's 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 go into that. We're going over to that right now, people. So, guys, um, 
please remember to smash the like button. I would really appreciate it, you guys if you hit the like button. Just smash that like button, people. Um, it, it hitting the like button shows that you guys um accept and like the content. Um, big up Barney for jumping in. <laughs> what are we do, doing today? You're slightly late. We are we almost covered the main topics, which is Peter Lee Vassal and Leon Ilian Bailey. Um, I just um ran through um Leon Bailey stats, what he what he did to affect the game that he played against um Bayern Munich. And it did wrap up some good stats, but definitely it was not good enough. Um, well, we won't say it was good enough. His, his teammate did not help him out. Definitely his teammate did not provide him an extra hand. Um, so definitely, so the first game, people, their, their first game is slated to start at um, on the first, the fifth, the, the first of the fifth, which is May, which is next month. They have the first game on the first of the fifth. They're going to play against um, Birmingham Legion. So we have to look out for that. We have to see what Peter Levas has to offer because we know the quality that he has. So we have to see what he has to offer. Um, we're going to have a look, a more in-depth look on the team itself and their last game. So they played the last friendly that they played was actually against Vancouver. Um, Vancouver, sorry, my bad about pronunciation. Vancouver, Vancouver Whitecaps. We're going to have a look at the team, and not just the player. We're going to look at the team, not Peter Levas. We'll be looking at the team then we can actually have a look at Peter Levers. But we're going to look at the team and what the team, the style of play, the system that they use, and what we can expect of them. Wow. Definitely taking a while. So, let me see. <laughs> Basse is at LA. No, he's at um India in the eleven. He's at India eleven. Um, big up Rashawn Tomlin. So thank you for coming in. Heard that Everton um want Leon. Um, I don't think Leon should definitely go to Everton. That would be a bad move for me. Yes, we can say Everton is actually in a, an upward trajectory, but we, I I think that would be a, actually a massive, maybe a sideways step. That's not an improvement in club. <laughs> Big up tactical manager, everyone. Uh, we have a USA fan in the chat right now saying Pulisic is better than Bailey. Please, guys, go at him. He said Pulisic is better than Bailey, people. Please, people, go at him. Screenshot it, people. Screenshot it, please, go at him. Um, you guys can also check out his, his YouTube channel. Very, very entertaining YouTube channel. Um, Tactical Manager TV. Very, very entertaining YouTube channel. Um, thank you, bro, for passing through. Um, people, he said Pulisic is better than Bailey. So people, please defend. You have, you have to defend your own. And when I went over to his channel, I told him that Bailey is better than Pulisic. I told him that even Bobby Reed is better than Pulisic. <laughs> so people, defend. you have to defend your comrade. You have to defend your comrade. We can't allow the, the USMT um, members to come and disrupt. <laughs> ah. We can't allow the, 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 the USA, USM members to come over. Um, let's see. Uh, he is <laughs> not nah, tactical. <laughs> no, <t> <laughs> come on. Uh, come on. Pulisic has no right to, 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 for his name to go alongside Leon Daly. Pulisic has no right for his name to go alongside Leon Daly, bro. Come on, bro. Be realistic. Please be realistic. Bravo, Rage Squadron, tactical choice. Come on, Bravo. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't think you have a clue who you're talking to right now, tactical. I, I, Bravo, I don't think you have a clue who you're talking to right now. Bravo, the best thing you can do, go over and check his channel and you'll see his channel. Strictly original content, I can tell. Um, I've been on his content for a good while now. Um, you can go over there and check it. Check it for yourself. <laughs> check it for yourself. Um, Pulisic is better. Last two seasons, he scored 20 goals at 21 years old. Um, I think he is right. Ooh, last season, last two seasons. What about now? What is Pulisic doing now? What is Pulisic doing right now? I'm talking about now. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna have. I'm. I'm going over transfer market. I'm going straight over transfer market. Let's 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 have a look at Pulisic and Leon Daly. 
Let's have a good look at Pulisic and Leon Bailey. We have to have a good look at Leon Bailey. Let's see the season these guys are having right now. Bravo Squadron. Come on, Bravo. Come on, Bravo. As I said, Bravo, go over and look at his content before you say anything, bro. Go over and look at his content. Bailey isn't prem ready, um, to be honest. Really? You think so? You really think so? I doubt it. Um, tactical analysis. Right. <laughs> AK, the control C. Control V, Jamaica. <laughs> uh, uh, big up. Um, Yakni said, I was watching Chelsea playing today. Pulisic was lost on the field. Not even know he was playing. He had a, he had a, he had a horrendous game. He had a very, very bad game. I'm going to compare him to Pulisic. I'm going to do, I'm doing a comparison now, people. So I'm going to bring it up as soon as possible. Alex, please, you might move, might move, right? Um, no, no, I'm there, I'm there. Oh, oh, okay, okay, what's up, bro? Military good, nah. What's up? for me, you know. Yeah, good night, good night. Big up, 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 big I'm a day, I'm a day, I'm a day, I'm a day. What's the whole thing, bro? You know what's everything good, do? I'm just there, I'm going easy and I watch, um, I'm just going to watch how life is and thing, you know, because I do Corona thing and I'm just going to take care of the family and just keep it humble, you know? That's all good. Right, before, 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 before I'm going to be in, I want to have a discussion, I want to talk about um the Super Cup, the Super League. What's your take on the Super League? Well, my take on it, um, on the Super League is that um, they sh they should have had the, the Super. I think I'm I'm okay with the Super League, but I don't think they should have a regular um a regulation system where you, a team come in and a team come out. You know, like a smaller team can make it like a uh, West Brom playing against Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I'm all for the new competitions. You get me? I come from what I'm mm -hmm. saying though. They should have it more stabilized. Uh, smaller teams can come into not just all the top six in England and the big teams only. Mm -hmm. I just feel like say, oh, they could make some smaller teams and more people come in, not just right. and I make some, you know, make it be yeah, more yeah. like Champion League style. Like, where I come from, I agree. That's all, that's, I agree. That, that, I agree. That's all, that's um, right. But tactical, the, I want to address tactical because I found the stats this season. You know, um, more, you know, more, I even want to talk to do more on the show right now. Tactical, yeah, I, I, I doubt he's gonna come on. I doubt he's gonna come on. He's, he's always a busy person all over the place. But um, yeah. let's see. Come on, I expect everyone to be conning him in the chat. You know? Yeah, man. When I, when, when oh, I went so, uh, in, in, in the chat, and he said, he said like about 300 persons was in his life, and he said every single one on me. So I'm, I'm expecting everyone to be on tactical. <laughs> uh, but but minutes, tactical. Um, well, I have mm -hmm. something for the team. Tactical okay. manager, you cannot compare Lee and Bailey. Come see you American people trying to do it. You American meme pages and you American Twitter pages. Mm -hmm. Um. If you have to compare Lee and Bailey and um Pulisic, right? Mm -hmm. I think Pulisic is more prone in prone injury, he injures a lot more than Bailey. Mm -hmm. Bailey's performing right now. Bailey has more assists, more goals this season than Pulisic. Mm -hmm. He has performed a better and first, first of all, Pulisic around better players. Isn't it? Leverkusen team is right. not that good. But but listen, listen to this and now. Um, let me show. Uh, let me run through some of the comments. Um, tactical said, um, this season Bailey is more informed. So you're going to put it down to inform. What about class? What about the talent? It I think be, Bailey has more no, I'm not. I'm not Jamaican. Listen, I'm. I'm not because, not because I'm Jamaican. I'm saying Bailey have class. All right. So listen, I'm going to show you the reason why I said Bailey. Pulisic is a name. Is an household name. Everyone knows about Pulisic, and he's basically a brand name. People want to make him a brand name. That is the reason why he's he's talked about that much. Um, let me see. Hopefully, tactical is still here. Hopefully, ta yes, he's still here. Yes, it's still here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wrap. No, it up. bro. All right, tactical manager, bro. Because I want you to come on the. I, I want you to explain me how Leverkusen is good. Because their defense line today was shit. I don't. I don't really. Uh, but look at this. I'm, I'm. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Okay, so this is in all competition, right? This is overall all competition. This is Pulisic versus Bale. So um, the argument is that this season, this season, Pulisic is um Bale is better. That is the argument. This season. So yeah. I'm going to do all competition. So this comprises of Leon Bale in Bundesliga, 
um, to play a whole league, Europa League, um, BFB Pokal, all the leagues that he has been through. So, Dillian Bailey has played a total of 231 games, scoring 53 goals with 46 assists. With 46 assists. So, that's in 231 goals, is 23, and um, Pulisic is 29. In 231 games, um, Leon Bailey has 99, 99 goal contribution in 231 games. And he played, and uh, let me see, Min total minutes, he, he doesn't play a lot of minutes, despite um, playing a lot of appearances. So let's go over to Pulisic now. Pulisic played a total of 221 with 100 goal contribution. <laughs> with a hundred goal contribution, so one is ninety nine, one is a hundred goal contribution. This is their this is their career stat. This is their career stat, not just um last season, this season. What this is but their look, entire career stat on the look, professional level. So look, tactical, Leon Bailey is ninety nine, Pulisic is a hundred, and listen to this now. One is playing in a in a stronger team, <laughs> right? One is playing some, a stronger some team. Some people are saying. <laughs> look, look at Sancho. What on Look at Sancho come and kick him out the team. You're not talking about that. <laughs> uh, <huh>? Okay. <laughs> every every <laughs> minute, every minute this season. I, I think last season the injury come back and he was on farm. The mm -hmm. Fox Sport News and everybody hyped him up and say, Oh yeah, he's the best mm -hmm. player, top ten players in it. He don't reach a level yet. I think he can be world class, but not not for me right now. I think Bailey's right over him. Because look at the, the stats don't lie. Uh, the thing about it, Pulisic, is that he has a lot of goal for, for USA, for the national team. So maybe that could be the reason why um, is the rate. Yeah, because he's playing before, he's he playing long, long before Bailey still. You know, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he, he got his so he can't really he play for, on that level. Yeah, he plays for the USA on the, on the 15, on the 17, and the senior team. So let me run through some of the, um, more of the um, comments. Um, up to the minute, said Pulisic had never scored eight goals in the Bundesliga like Bailey. Hmm, Little true. Sancho come kick him out his game game. <laughs> Little Sancho, we know we, we're talking about Sancho come and kick him out at, at, his, at his at his spot. So pull right, sick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pull is sick. Whatever um 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 tactic I just said, pull is sick. Pull is sick. I, it's I already, yeah, it's, I, already it's I already sick. pick it. I already pick it. Um, the Kankaka for eleven that day. Right? Pull is sick. I'm, I'm already picking Kankaka for 11 the other day. I, I don't see Damien Lowe and Kankaka for 11. It does, does Tati no. Kamaja know who Damien Lowe is? I, I, don't, I don't think he does. No, 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 no. He won't be in the starting level. No, for me, he must be in the starting level. All right, listen. Let, let me tell you why. You know um, Edison Alvarez, right? I don't, I, don't, I don't rate Edison Alvarez over there. Whoa, really? Yeah, you're going to say, well, I know. Well, I know. Really? Say because he play, watch out. Watch out. You're going to say because he play Ajax. And he because he play at that. And them and lower player Egypt, right? Right. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what my comparison is, right? So what is your comparison? Them and lower team is in second second and table in Egyptian league right now. When you watch them and lower, where's I? Jamaica. Where's I? Jamaica. Jamaica. All right. Even last, even last World Cup, he got the team of the World Cup, you know, team of the group stage, you know. I know. So all you gonna all right, If them and lower, if them and lower went, I went go to Benavito. Will you have the same comparison right now? If them and lower went to go to Benavito, the Alvarez is better. Yes. I think I, I have seen, they're leading their league, bro. They're yeah, the but the yeah, they're leading their league. But I'm, I'm are you saying I have seen it's not a better team than Benavita? Yeah, I is definitely Benavita. Ben, oh, come on, so, bro. Watch, 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 yeah, but but they are low is a better player to me though. I don't, I, oh. I, I mean, they're gonna say that. What because is, use something to fit your argument. What, what do you use? What do you create for Jamaica? What they are low done for Jamaica? Bring them back to back to back semi finals. He bring the, he, he, you know, so, him, him, him how much that the, the question team. I'm going to ask you, how much I know Alvarez did win the same tournament that you're talking about? Because Mexico have the good players around them, brother. So obviously, man, I'm going to win, brother. <laughs> that is the thing. But he is a part of the good squad because of his quality and talent. That is the reason why he's a part of the good squad. Yeah, man, I say, you have to respect that, bro. When I say, level, me feel like they're going to lose it in it, but then again, I say, you're going to stay. It's not about feelings, bro. No, 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 no. So <laughs> it may understand what you're saying, but it's not, so it's not about feelings. They may lose a good defender still, you know, for me, you know. You see me? All right, so tactical, All right. we tactical can't go there after that. Tactical, you never watch them in low places. Tactical, just an American boy, we just, a uh, Brazilian, when just think about soccer, they don't reach, read in depth in soccer. No, 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 he does. He does, actually, he does. Me no, watch because sometimes like... watching video, them, you know, in attack fear, you know, in attack fear about soccer, you know. I'm going to come for beat him tonight, you know. I'm going to no, come man, for beat him tonight. So, for example, for example, I'm going to watch the, 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 he did a, a, a thing on um the, the Europa League. It did talk a lot of sense into it. But the thing is that 
the Americans, they, they like the NFL, they like the NBA. These sports are, was actually, the, 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 the European Super Cup League was actually in the same format. So maybe the Americans would like it. My problem with that now is this. Um, with these owners, this, um, they're trying to Americanize the sport. So maybe half time you're going to have um, inter entertainment at half time. Maybe you're going to have quarts as well. Um, clutch is coming on. You're going to have yes. um, final well. clutch is here. Final clutch. Big up here. clutch. Yo, yo, what's um, up? What's up? Clutch, what's up, bro? Me, so you might be tactical, man. Yeah, clutch. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm coming to <laughs> you, meet might... you because you're talking some fuckery. No, <laughs> me feel like Damien Lowe should have been on that squad. But as I say, Alvarez, that's you guys' opinion. I can't beat an opinion. That's my opinion, though. And I know what we're gonna see. We're gonna see in the World Cup qualifier. Uh, guys, let me run through some of the comments because yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Far. Um, Liverpool is pretty, is pretty good. Yeah, of course, Liverpool is good. Um, look at how much more value, valuable Pulisic is. Well, because it doesn't matter if valuable. It doesn't matter. He's American he can for Chelsea. The stats. <laughs> Bailey is a better player. We don't need to compare that, brother. Come on, no, no man. <laughs> Tactical said, um. To me, it does not bother, but Americans will complain. <laughs> uh, it is fully sick. Yes, yes, people say, pronounce it right. Fully sick. <laughs> um, why don't we talk about how fully sick is, this, is the reason Chelsea qualified to the, um, the European Champions League last season? Well, you're yeah, talking about last reason, season. Well, how, how, season. How's that reason? That the, I, that, bro, that's I think, reason, I, let me tell you, the most, the, the, for the past two seasons, Chelsea's best player for the past two seasons has been Mason Mount. Obviously, how are you going to play Pulisic? So. And last season, Kovacic got the player of the season. Kovacic got the player of the season last season. And Barney said, and Pulisic um, is having a bad season. He's having a very, very bad season this season. But Pulisic, um, Pulisic has better stats. No, Leon Daly has better stats. <laughs> well, the stats is actually relatively easy. Just that Pulisic is actually playing a better team with more quality around him. Yeah, brother. Um, and that the team does not need you get more stats. Well, you have a stronger team around you. It's likely that you might get a better opportunity to score a goal. When the quality around you is better, it means that you will, you're likely to perform better because it means that you're likely to be dominant. Tactical manager, no one company live, and I'm scared, you know? It's a, it is close between Pulisic and Bailey. Of course, it is close. Um, Bravo, Rage Cardinals, and Damien Lowe would not be in a CONCACAF level. Alex, stop being biased. Man, nah, be biased, bravo. <laughs> yeah, bravo is a very smart person. Listen to him. Bravo, man, nah, be biased. But my, this my opinion. Look can't even from opinion, right? All I'm right, just, so so explain why you feel that way. Come, we just feel that way. The way him play for Jamaica. <laughs> no, bro. The way him play no. for Jamaica. Alvarez, I, I, I have Alvarez, my Evan Alvarez, Alvarez is the best defender in Kankaka. He is the see, best defender in Kankaka. Well, Anna, we gonna see World Cup qualifier. Why he's the best defender, right? But no, he won, he, won, he won the World Cup two twice. No, hold on, man. He, he represents no, his... No. Teacher, huh? military goal now. We're going to see why yeah. he's the best defender in that work when World Cup qualifiers start, all right? <laughs> we're we, 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 going to prove it wrong. Is he even the best defender for Jamaica? Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> exactly, there you go. <laughs> he's, not, he's not. He's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you say Alvarez better than Leon Moore? Yes. No. Mm. Yes. Champ no, 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 yes. no, no, no. Premier League winner. I'm not being biased. Premier though. League winner. Well, uh, Premier League winner with the Leicester team. Right? What, 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 what do you say, Awal? Premier League winner? Yes. Premier oh, League winner. Listen. You win the Premier listen. League with Leicester. Yeah, and he but played 15. How, how much games did he play, though? How much appearance he had that, this, that season? Yeah, but he still win the Premier League. <laughs> and, and and check his star. Well, no, 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 no. Check his star. No, no. He's one of the best defenders in the championship right now. I'm going to tell you something. Yes, he's one of the best defenders. I'm not denying that. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. And believe okay. this, yes, I know. Strajan Mustafi won the, won the World Cup. Is he a better player than um, Lionel Messi? Who? Uh, he's a better player than Van Dijk. Van Dijk never won the World Cup. Uh, Mustafi. He won the World Cup. So is he better than Van Dijk? Who? Who better than Van Dijk? Most sure that most most of it, that's most of it Arsenal. Is he better than Van Dyke? No, most of it no. shit, brother. We are tired, boy. Okay, but remember, no, he won the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he won the World Cup. But me, I right. say, Leon Moore is better defender than me, though. All right, here's here's where I think you're getting it confused. It's okay. one thing to say a player is better, but and it's another thing to say that you prefer a player over another. I think exactly. you just prefer more. Over Alvarez, but he's yeah. Not I prefer player. more than Alvarez. He's more physical. all right. Then say that, but he's not the better oh, no, no. player. He's, he's more physical. 
He's more technical than Alvarez. That's my in my eyes. All right, then. That's why you prefer him, but he's not the better player. Well, to me, he's the better okay, player. Okay, look at that. Um, But um, tactical, both Damien Lowe also play CDM and centre-back as well. But I do think um, Damien Lowe is, is not as good as, as Alvarez. Alvarez is ranked as one of the best defenders in the in the in the in the, 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 the Dutch league right now. I do think so. He's ranked as one of the best. I don't I can't see how I don't I just can't see how you put um <laughs> bro Alvarez bro come on bro be, be bro, I fool no opinion that's still in the teacher I can't, I can't run. do you know how old Alvarez is he's 23 he won the gold cup with Mexico in 2019 mm. Yeah, with good players. And around what, him. That 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 time he was he was nineteen years old though. He was nineteen when he won the gold cup. Damien Lowe was about twenty three. Was but about twenty four. But, but Jamaica beat them. But Jamaica beat it. Alvarez when I play gold cup too. Uh, okay, that's true. The the one the semi finals. So we're not talking about which, sem, which semi finals that that, that in twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. No, Alvarez was yeah. not playing in twenty seventeen. Yeah, he was there. He was there. Yeah, was there. Was there yeah, bro. Remember. Come on, Jamaica Listen, beat in twenty seventeen. 20 yeah, years I'm pretty sure when Jamaica there. beat them semi-finals. Listen, listen to this. Yeah, Jamaica beat Mexico in the semi-finals in 2017, but yes. Alvarez was not playing. Alvarez, Alvarez was playing. He I'm made his appearance in 2018. Go check his studs. And even, I'm, even I'm, play I'm, 20, I'm going to look at it right now. And even and, and check group stage is match we play against them in 2018. We draw against them. All right, so CONCACAF Gold Cup, let me look at it. He played five games for CONCACAF Gold Cup. Five games. Um, let me see when he made the senior appearances. Mm. Those are the Europa League games. This guy is playing in Champions League and also playing in Europa League. And you're telling me that Damien is better than him. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I, um, his first appearance. Let me see. <clears throat> the man playing in Jamaica in a group stage is to Andra. So we don't know what we're talking about. I'm, I'm checking it right now. I think oh, Alvarez played... is a better CDM than center back anyway. Whoa, he got me. Whoa, look, look at this, guys. He played in the World Cup. He played in the 2018 World Cup. Yes, he was in the 2017 squad. Mm-hmm. He was in the 2017 squad. Muna, you want me to kick out? You say you want me to kick, eh? kick me out of your thing? You know, because I'm too biased. <laughs> too biased. <laughs> no, yeah, but um, he, played, he played five games. He scored one goal. But at that point in time, when he was in the, in the World Cup, um, he, he was like, what, he's nine, he was 19. Uh, that, no, he was 18. He, that, that, that Gold Cup was what he made his first appearances. And listen, at 18, he was in the Gold Cup. For yeah, Mexico but he did, did, did he play against Jamaica, though? That mm, yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay, and he lost, right? But, 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 yes, at 18. All right, okay. That's, at 18. That's, that's, that's why, that's why, that's yeah, he's 18. Come on. He was 18. No, but I'm saying, no, he lose. So, how old was Damien Lowe at that time? Uh, uh, but but he, he <laughs> lose. That's the point. Uh, yes, he lose. But what he, he did didn't even leave Mexico yet. What did he do in 2019? Damien Lowe was playing at top. Listen to me. Jamaican players don't get good opportunities, right? Mm-hmm. And Damien Lowe from Tampa Bay, uh, mm-hmm. right from Tampa Bay, and come play for Jamaica, and he got a contract overseas in Norway. He was one of the best defenders in Norway division. Mm-hmm. Now the first division, we're going to have first division. And got relegated. And Fox don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> and Fox don't That's lie. It. Tactical manager said, I should kick you out. <laughs> so what did you do, the exit? Alex, where's Alex? Oh, I don't know. His Wi-Fi is bad. Oh, okay. It has to be his Wi-Fi because I didn't kick him out. And I, he, that's how, so Alex just sent me because as, as soon as I said, um, kick him out, he just, he, he went and yeah. I, I guess it was the <laughs> right said, thing. It worked yeah. out. <laughs> he said, no, bro, there's no, there's no, oh, he's back. There's no way you can have um, um, Alvarez, um, Damien Lowe in front of Alvarez. It's that, that's just mere impossible, bro. You can't have Damien Lowe in front of Alvarez. You cannot. You can't. You, you just can't. Bro, I'm, I'm just, I'm, that's just, that's just my opinion. Though. He represented the World Cup. He played in the World Cup for Mexico. The World Cup. That's where Damien was never yeah, played. Yeah, he, he played, played World in the World Cup for Mexico, right? The Mexico they have a better team. That's how they qualify for the World Cup. Come All on, right. no? okay. honestly, you okay. could have okay. made okay. the Damien argument. Didn't qualifiers. You could have you know made the argument if Lowe actually went to Syria A and tested himself, but he didn't. So you can't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how guy went supposed to go to Syria? I went to get in two, three, two, three, three thousand US a week. A better Talk agent. Could... That. All right, if the money rough wasn't his uh, agent, uh, he could have right, got yeah. a better deal. All right, that, that, all right. So, saying, though. okay. So let me let me tell you something, guys. All right, let me let me clear some some fact because I love to do stats, right? Um, for Ajax, this season has played twenty eight games, right? They scored 
86 goals and conceded 20 goals. That's one of the best defensive records across Europe. That's bro, he I want tactical manager to come on, bro. That's that's the man Re- I want. Remember that he played um he played in the Champions League, he played in the Europa League, and he's also played in, in his league. And he only conceded, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. All right, then I, that's your guys' opinion. Then that's that's your guys' it's opinion. Not opi- bro, and this is not opinion. This is facts. Well, bro, it, well, facts. me, leave a over him for me. I'm all not right, being bad. Right. That's all your right, guys' right, opinion. Me, I feel like Damian so, so, better than him. All right, so well, since we're using opinion, since we're using opinion, um, who do you choose? Who do you choose? Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo, I choose. Okay, okay. He's more proven than Messi to me. When for me, he's just more proven. He got on. Clutch, who do you choose? I'll choose Ronaldo also. Okay, so all right, so give me a reason why you choose Ronaldo. Ronaldo always shows up in the big moments and he carried uh-huh. he used to carry Portugal on his back. Okay. Um, did you know that um Messi has more final goals than Ronaldo? That Ooh. includes the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. That's true, yeah. Okay, so you said um it's about turning up in big moments. I think finals are big moments. Yeah. I do believe finals are big moments. Sure. <laughs> so, All right, so turn up in the finals. Goal, but does his team um, win? Big up, um, tactical. He said you gotta go. Um, big up. Thank you for passing through. A lot of respect. <laughs> you know what, Stian? Man, you more come on, like, like, take him on, man. You know what? Um, come on, in court. <laughs> uh, so may I go bring up um Messi and Ronaldo facts. May I go show you something? Um, first of all, I'm a Messi supporter. We're not lobbying up to me, so we can try out more. We're not arguing based off of, based off of my, 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 pers- my opinion. We're going to use stats. I will use stats. Stats are facts. <laughs> so, listen to this now. Let me, let me give you a, a good idea. So, everyone knows Ronaldo has a goal scored machine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's a goal scored machine. We accept that. Do you know that Lionel Messi? Goal scoring ratio is far way better than Ronaldo, um, Ronaldo's own. Mm. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Okay, so um, let me tell you how. Let me tell you um, uh, what made it so so good. Um, let me tell you. I'm going to look, look at overall stats and career stats. So this is what happened. Ronaldo played a total of 887 games. That's and Lionel Messi played a total of 771 games. That is, that is over almost a hundred more games than Lionel Messi. He played 92 more games than Lionel Messi. 92 more games. No, Ronaldo scored a total. This is career total, right? 670 goals. You, you hear me, right? Ronaldo scored 670 goals. Lionel mm-hmm. Messi scored 666, 67, 65. So it's five goals away from Ronaldo. And Ronaldo played 91 games more. You don't want me to go into the assists. Yeah, but and everyone knows that Messi, uh, Messi has more assists. So what's your take on that? I feel like Messi had a better supporting cast over the years. What do you call supporting cast? Xavi, Xavi. Iniesta. Huh? Um, Xavi, Iniesta. Busquets, so all those guys. Who Ronaldo has? Remember now. Um, I don't want, to, want you guys to undermine Scholes, Carrick, Ferdinand, Village, um, <laughs> Wayne Rooney. Come on, people, don't underestimate these. Guys. We're not underestimating the player, but Xavi and, 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 and Iniesta was a better player. Than Suarez, him. Neymar. Come on, come on, bro. come on. So when, players when, are when, than Ronaldo, when, when Ronaldo went to um, Real Madrid, he, he met um, Xavi Alonso, Mrs. Ozil, um. Luca Mother, um, Casimiro, um, Marcelo, um, Carmen Zima, um, Gardel. Is that true? Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> All right, let's, let's compare them up by play, player by player. You will see that the Barcelona players are still better. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. So, are you, are you not giving Gareth Bale and Benzema no ratings? Is that what you're doing? Not compared to Suarez and Neymar. <laughs> All right, <laughs> an informed Gareth Bale is a dangerous player. I believe so. An informed Gareth Bale, dangerous player. That's true. 
a lot of people bought the comments is running mad. Um, big up uh, Ian Kevin said Damien Lowe is a good player, but he can't make a count class also relevant. That's a valid point. That's a valid, valid point. Yeah, that's the guy's opinion though. Um, um Marcel Blue said, so if you replace Alvarez you know, in Mexico qualified for the World Cup. I, that's a massive drop in quality. I don't I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> We have to ask, we have to respect. We, yes, we respect competition or respect that we know that all right, all right, are here. Yeah, good question. Mm -hmm. and, um, do you have any forward, forward, a good forward right now? Sergeant is a good forward. Sergeant, Sergeant is all right. Is that yeah, he's all right. He's not the best, but he's all right. He, he's a good, yeah, forward. he's all right. But um, does do he have any far better than Jamaican forward right now? No, 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 they don't. If they have a good attacking lineup, Sergeant Pulisic and Reyna, but I won't say it is definitely better than what we have. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. So you're because, saying Jamaica. um, Sergeant is quite young, and this season he has scored like five goals and two assists. And um, Mikel Antonio would blow that away easily. Say that. Yeah. Say that. Uh, would Jamal. blow that away? Huh? Say that. Uh, Jamal would a better time. Jamalo, um, Jamal, yeah, Jamalo blow that away, slap that away a long time as well. Jamalo, Liam, Bay, everyone, all of our front players has hit that to the, to the screen. Andre Gray is, is a bench player, and that is Andre Gray's number. <laughs> 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 yeah, and police at this moment, Liam Bay is in a better form than him, so right there, you know, our front line is naturally better. Um, let's see, um, maybe Reyna, let's see what Reyna has to have. I'm not going to arena a conversation right now with clutch. No. I'm not going to arena. So, um, um, we, uh, we, we literally have a better front line than them. Our main problem, Jamaica main problem, we have to start with the Mickey. It's a, that is our weakest point in the team. And until we can find the right balance, that is the reason I love the fact that uh, Peter Lee was up, up to um, the Nazis around and he find himself yep. up. He yeah. himself so, and that's so, 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 Peter Leverson, I get I back again. Mm, it depends. Not yet. Remember that he's he's start their season gonna start right now. So what if he picks up a good form and maybe scoring four or five, six goals going into the goal cup? Would you consider him? Yes, I would definitely consider him. Consider him, but I don't know if I'd call him up right away. Yeah. So um why wouldn't you call him? Well, mm. Uh, He's been out of football for a long time. I mean, guys. Yeah, like, but he's playing. But he's going to play. Huh? What do you call Tarek Magi? Um, that's another tricky one. Yeah, see, that's the thing. So, so we have to rely on the players that we know are playing and put in, and put in some performance. So we have to walk. Randy Vaz. Yeah. Also, also much red man. People, me no respect. Listen, people. Me know sir. I know that you guys are my viewers. I think it's unfair that I have two or so much red other people watching my content. <laughs> I'm feeling overcrowded. I have no bucket team. No one is backing my argument. <laughs> no one. It entire chat is said Ronaldo. This is unfair. You guys have to give us some leeway. I'm it must, it must mean something. Like. <laughs> you know the funny thing about it is that <laughs> Barnett said, um, Randy said, um, Ronaldo. Barnett said, um, Ronaldo as well. Every, oh, come on. Everyone, give us. Come on, people. <laughs> um, Mark Chambers said, I don't see Messi in the game for 20 minutes and he's on the field. He do he, he doing play and the game just pop up every now and then. But every time Messi pop up, it's a goal. <laughs> but you don't know. That, you, you shouldn't even answer to that. Cham Mark Chambers, did you know that Lionel Messi averages up to 50 to 60 touches per 90? He averages 50 to 60 touches per 90. That is a lot for a striker. That is too much. No other striker averages that. Because he comes so deep and link up the play. What come on, what if Messi is like a, a midfielder playing in a forward position? Do you think that Renala can do that? Come on, Clush, Alex, answer. Do you think Renala can do that? What? Do what? Um the work what Messi does. Come in the midfield, link up play and still go and score. Goal. Yeah, we see him do it a lot of time with Portugal. Yeah, but that, that's not his style. That's not yeah, his, but that, that's yeah, but we see him do it a lot of time with Portugal, but on a film type style of play that step, isn't it? Oh, and I think that's a player. No, no. Yeah. Oh, we've seen this a lot. 
But yeah. Roman Manuel, Leon and Messi beat every day. Every single day. Because Leon... That's a Leon system when playing play in them, come back and, okay. and contribute. Mm -hmm. so, but he still scores. He's still rocking on the same goal numbers with that, like Ronaldo. And, and have more assists. So what do you have to say about that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 that, that's the reason. I'm, I'm not trying to change people. Listen, um, I'm not trying to change the mind from Ronaldo, but I want people to get the content of that. A lot of people use the trophies as the but yeah, but for that, one I use that as well. Guna, one I reason, Guna, one reason I'm mm. saying more better still, you know, because um, Ronaldo play more in a more better in play like leagues more than one leagues. Um, so would you say, only. That's not really a good uh, argument, to be honest with you. Would you say Zlatan is better than Ronaldo? Because no. he, played in more, he, played, he played in more leagues than, than, than no, Ronaldo. No, but when Messi played, we are comparing Messi and uh, 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 something that uh, Ronaldo, right? Yeah, but no, but, um, you, you but you use a reference. But you use a reference. He never got English League to challenge himself. He never mm -hmm. got he never got an Italian League to challenge himself. He's still a Barcelona. So listen, to uh, listen to this, you know. In the English League, the top six that Lionel Messi has played against, he scored 26 goals. Ronaldo has 21. Against the top six. Yeah, but if, got, if Messi got Premier League, if, if Messi got Premier League, he'll get it. Then he keep on every minute. Okay, and, every minute. Uh, uh, so listen to this. One of the best free kick takers right now is Lionel Messi. Can you imagine Messi right in the Premier League? As they receive the ball, they come and kick him down at the age of the 18-year back. Where things are going? Either penalty or free kick, he must score enough. Yeah. So, so what is the so Messi at Messi versus Burnley? How much penalty did Messi get? Because all the Burnley players are going to come foul him. Then that so that is something that's so probably not score more goals. So that is it. Look at right, look at me, put Lionel Messi in a in a in a Man City system. How much goal do you think Lionel Messi get in the Man City Manchester City team? Answer me not. Um, what say? How much goal do you think Lionel Messi will get in a Manchester City team? Yeah, I mean, I get up a goal because then I play tiki taka system. The type of play, play style of him like to play. But, but uh, what I'm sure is that. So, you can't under And I clap, um, and I clap, play, so I put I get the best out of time, too. Clap, no forget oh. best out of Messi. Right? Right, Guna? Well, remember, I said Messi that play with clap a bar flow, right? so, you know, so, you can get the best with out of time. Pep, 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 Pep. Yeah? With Pep, yes, sir. Yeah, with Pep, so... It, it could get best out time. You know, if you play Messi, you know, if you do get the best out time, it goes out of Messi. But you have to write in a Manchester, I think, Manchester City system. How long now Pep leave Barcelona? A long time, but if I play, I know a coach, a coach, no, I play now, I go forever, no, I go forever, okay, no, I go Messi and Barcelona, Pep leave Barcelona many years now, and yes, still Lionel Messi is still racking up the high number of volume numbers. Xavi and Iniesta leave Barcelona a long time now, and Messi is still racking up the same volume. I mean, because it's still around good players. They still have good players in the system. <laughs> so, you're saying that um, Ronaldo at uh, uh, even does not have good players around him? Is that what I you're mean, saying? I mean, we have good players around him too. I'm not going to lie. But they just play <laughs> different. They just play different to me, though. Okay. Ah, I understand. I'm going to run through some of the comments because it's really late now. Yeah, just and like just, no just like one. just like all the American them said this are the best right one of the best right back in our world. I'm gonna say Vitinus. No, nothing like that. I'm gonna say, I'm like say Vitinus Juna destroy him in El Casico. <laughs> and I and, 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 I'm gonna get that to come out video panic. I said not both. You know, I'm gonna say not both that. No, I you won't say anything about that. Um, yeah. do, you, do, um, do you see Karen um Karen their team more hat tricks run out? You sure? Messi? And I think you guys, I think some some people like comments don't understand the amount that goes missing. That I'm um, low, I'm um, not better than him. Agree. Max John, big up Max John, thank you for coming in. Messi only played one league, so right now is more progress. He almost exactly. Yeah, exactly. That argument doesn't really make more sense, to be honest with you. Huh? That argument doesn't really make much sense. How does playing in more leagues make you a better player? I don't know because all the top teams in those leagues mess it boxes up really week in week out. Mess it boxes up <laughs> mess, on a weekly basis. Mess it boxes up. So I don't understand. If the, if, if Mess is gonna box up the top teams, what about the lower teams in the league? If Messi would slap a Liverpool and a Manchester City, what would he do to a Fulham and a West Ham 
Exactly. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be embarrassing. A 5 4 goal in that score. <laughs> I, can, I can remember Messi's score. Me, Arsenal not good. I remember, remember vividly Messi's score. A 4 goal in a one match for Arsenal. In a one match. Box week. Embarrassing. <laughs> um, big up Joe. Um, Joe in. Maggie is better than most of the players. Best school boy footballer I've, I've ever seen. Really? I've seen so much. <laughs> we tell him, we tell him, we tell him, my guys. Now. Next you guys know, um, Next you guys know there are traveling named Shakes. Who? Say that again. Yes, a player traveler named Shakes. No. Shakes. No, yeah, no, he's 17 it. years old, guys. Um, I, I'm gonna try to do an interview with him so you guys probably get to know him. He's 17 years old. I'm telling you, he's one of the most naturally gifted um, um player I've ever seen in a long while. Naturally gifted. He's so hold on, you're not, you're not trying to make a move out of Jamaica. Um, we'll see, we'll, we'll see about that. Uh, but hold on, we have some agents that problem in Jamaica. Agents me from me. Jamaica are not good. Let me say, let me say two it's two hard two. when you're, and, and he's 17. It's hard to get like the um the work permit or whatever in Europe. Mm-hmm. At that age, yeah. I'm explaining something about Maggie Guna, right? Yeah, Maggie can fit in another team at UPEN any day, right? What was that? Maggie can fit in another team at UPEN any day, right? For me, it's just the coach that give me the opportunity to do the one. You see me? If Maggie at least get one game and prove himself, mm-hmm. then that's him play more better in the get more game time, right? Mm-hmm. Maggie's a naturally gifted player and he's very technical. I mean, and some people are saying underdeveloped and in design that I feel like you're underdeveloped to me though. Okay. If well, play, you open system and play more defensive, counter counter attacking ball game. If you watch them play against Shalawa, come on because the other day. That's what they uh-huh. play. They play counter attack counter attack counter counter attacking football. They say Maggie was in the system and yeah. there. there. Maybe you could be a better player, do you more better, better player right now than Jerry. You see me? American players no. get more opportunity and then and 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 then a rate, then a rate. So I continue to rate Jamaicans basically. You see me? I just that's it. Mm-hmm. I don't agree, but I mean, I mean, me, 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 that's my that's my point, there, but because yeah. if Maggie did that buy me that man, that player, mm-hmm. and get the game time just like Reina do. I uh, mm-hmm. the country them one of the best midfielders in a conquer camp, right? Yeah, I think he has that that, that level of technical okay. ability. I do and think I feel he has like, that I feel like if you get the right, if him Craig Butler has the right to he say and get the move and go on better better club and start play some bad game, we are mm-hmm. gonna have a different discussion who should have in a, in a, the best midfielder in a conquer camp. But all right, so me I look on something right here so with Leon and Messi, right? And me always at these stats. And me, me bring up the sofa score stats and attacking creative abilities, technical ability. His tactical ability and his defensive ability. I may always look on the numbers for that. Guna, and you me please, eh? Guna. Um, you ever play FIFA, right? Yeah, but Guna, I may, may forgot where now, yeah? But I'm okay, not having me on the live. Uh, me? Next two minutes, I'm close off. Right, no problem, still. I'm yeah. close off in the next two minutes. No problem. Um, and I may look at, at when you're playing FIFA, right? And you see all the 99 player ratings in FIFA. <laughs> in FIFA. Everything on FIFA, Lionel Messi is 99. This is like FIFA. <laughs> this is definitely like FIFA. All right, so. Um, not because a player is playing at a high league means that he's better than a player playing at a low league. Um, yeah, we have seen that a lot of times that you have players coming from the lower league to come, um, come and prove something, and it, they do they they really actually put on good performance in those leagues as well. Um, people, um, thank you very much, people, for coming on. I'm actually, what is that crumbling knife? Oh, there's a crumbling knife. Oh, uh, really? It's time to close. It's time to close up. Well, thank you very much, people, for coming on. I have no clue what that crumbling knife. I do apl- apologize for it. I have no clue what it's about. So maybe it's time for me to close up. But thank you, people, for coming on. Um, look out for my show tomorrow. Guys, when I drop the article content, just go on it and hit the like button. It, it, it won't hurt you guys. Just go on it and smash the like button. I know you don't like our stuff. <laughs> you can come there and, and throw some banter. Come and throw some banter. But maybe, uh, maybe it was the previous, um, uh, maybe it was Alex and Mike. Maybe. But people, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, big up Crush for coming on. A lot of respect to yeah, everybody. No problem. Uh, good night. I know it's, it's a bit late now, so thank you people for coming in. Big up. And Mr. Special Edition coming in. Mr. Special Edition, I mean, you know, you, <laughs> we've been here over, 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 over now. So everyone that came in, thank you very much. I do appreciate you guys. Please hit the like button before you go. I really, really appreciate you guys. You, you hitting the thumbs up shows me that you like what I'm doing. It, it tells me that you like what I'm doing. 
And I would really, really appreciate that. So don't go without hitting the like button. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. Everyone that's coming here for the first time, also subscribe if you're new and you like the content. And we have discussion like this every day, every single day. Um, tomorrow I'll be dropping, I'll be doing my Arsenal versus Everton preview. Another loss for Arsenal again, I believe. But that is the life as an Arsenal fan. We can't do anything better. At least football hasn't stopped because of the Super League. Big up everyone. Thank you guys for coming in. Um, a lot of respect. And guess what? I am 